Okay, um, good morning everybody. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be here with you all today, um, especially to talk about gender. Uh, I'm so grateful to um, my dear friends um, from the uh, Department of Philosophy, Dr. Lakshmi and other colleagues, um, and also the Union, um, Kerala University uh, Union uh, and also all the students and others who took initiative to organize uh, this type of a program. Uh, first of all, I thank uh, you all, and it's uh, so nice uh, to be part of this program, whatever you have initiated as part of Faculty of Arts. I heard about this initiative called Faculty of Arts, with, uh, who are going to organize different kind of programs, I suppose. So I wish you all the best also um, for all your programs. Today we have this topic called genders. Genders. I have given this uh, title like genders. Basically, I prepared this in English. I hope that's okay. It is better to be in this way, I guess. Um, anyhow, this term gender, as already Dr. Lashmi has talked about it, it's very familiar for us nowadays. It's uh, not a new term at all. It's uh, we have very uh, we have been uh, having these papers in our syllabus now for graduation also for, for graduation, and people are doing PhD in uh, gender everything. Um, so gender studies as a topic, as an academic discipline, also has become a little bit familiar. We have it like a complementary or subsidiary or even as main paper uh, in our uh, academic realm. So the term is actually familiar, but as philosophy students, as uh, people from philosophy, otherwise also for general public also, it's good to go deep into the meanings of this term, origin of this term, historical evolution as well as uh, terminological explanations and so on and so forth. So let's start with that. Um, to start with explaining gender, we have to actually start with feminism. Uh, because gender as a term actually came into existence in our society through feminist discussion, through feminists. Uh, so we all also have heard feminism. Feminism is actually um, uh, a political, social political movement, we can say. It's a theory, feminist theory is also there. Um, it came like a particular social political um, movement and also as particular theorization for the welfare of women, for the, for raising the issues of women, um, issues faced by uh, women inequality issues, subordinating um, sta subordinated status, etc. were raised by feminists through, the, uh, through their writings and as well as through um, various public programs and kind of a social political movement. Uh, this happened. So as part of feminism, um, feminist theory actually dealt with basically the issue, uh, issues of um, women. But later there were some kind of um, developments happening in the movement itself and also in the theorization. That we will come in detail later. So gender is a relatively um, new term uh, in the feminist discussion, which started uh, discussing the issues of femininity and masculinity. As we all know, in that is three to four usham no na saan engala engne yana na amra samogatil samajyutil mektijyutil yeri problematic kaanu da. Ada ana three de secondary status niya kaarana mau na three subordinated apun na ina ke kaarana mau na nala charcha ana vai na da. So feminism, uh, as we all know, probably maybe in your course uh, work we you might have studied something like uh, the first wave feminism, second wave feminism, third wave feminism, like that. So in these uh, different historical junctures, 
to say so the feminist uh, first um, largest convention of feminist movement started in 20th mid 20th mid 19th century like 1848 in the seneca falls convention happened in new york this was considered as the first uh, largest con convention first for the first starting a first for feminist movement which was actually basically uh, demanding the voting right of women later after that um, even from them and also especially in second phase feminism we can see this um, discussion about sexuality of women discussion about um, various rights of women in their personal lives as well as social life for example their rights in domestic realm their right in rights in um, families uh, and also in interpersonal relationship etc so the discussion about sexuality came there with uh, in a second wave through the second wave feminism which was in which historical juncture you can see actually in the western countries what has happened in that time after it was if the first wave started in 1848 like mid 20th mid 19th century it, it was almost mid 20th century only the second wave was coming because there was this world wars and etc and you, you uh, western uh, uh, european countries you know the first world war and second world war happened in the first half of um 20th century so un, un, until up to like 1940s and 50s it was not possible to develop any kind of thought in our in their society so it is there in the second wave uh, feminism we can see the usage of the term called gender we can say exactly something around 1950s 55 like then the term was introduced so still we are not very they were themselves not very clear about um, how is it being used so theoretically uh, speaking or philosophically treating the term we uh, could uh, we could see the aspects of um, the terminology called gender meanings and usage how how it was and how it came uh, etc so it was basically used um, it was basically used to discuss the issues of femininity basically because this issues uh, of femininity is tritum and the there are something uh, being extracted on the human entity called woman female and female human entity to talk about it in that way we have to say it is just uh, we will come into detail in that um, aspect again uh, so when we think about the gender term gender uh, we can say gender nowadays when we do research gender is a research, a research um, theoretical tool to discuss the inequality due to the existence uh, or ascription of femininity and masculinity into different kinds of human beings pala manushyarku pala tarathile appo adu particularly edu female nu male nu inna maathirulla work alle inna maathirulla mindset അവർക്ക് എങ്ങനെ അസ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്യണം എന്നുള്ള ഒരു രീതിയിൽ ഉള്ള ഡിസ്കഷനാണ് അവിടെ വരുന്നത് സോ വി ക്യാൻ സേ ദാറ്റ് ജെൻഡർ വാസ് ഫസ്റ്റ് യൂസ്ഡ് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് ദ ഇഷ്യൂസ് ഇൻ ദ കൺസെപ്ച്വലൈസേഷൻ ഓഫ് മെസ്കുലിനിറ്റി ആൻഡ് ഫെമ്യൂണിറ്റി എന്തിനെയാണ് നമ്മൾ ഈ പൗരുഷം നൽകുന്നത് എന്തിനെയാണ് നമ്മൾ ഈ സ്ത്രീത്വം നൽകുന്നത് എന്നിട്ട് അതങ്ങനെ ഫിക്സ് ചെയ്ത് ഫീമെയിൽ എൻഡിറ്റിയിലേക്കും മെയിൽ എൻഡിറ്റിയിലേക്കും കൊടുക്കുന്നു ഇതെങ്ങനെയാണ് ഇതെങ്ങനെ ശരിയാവും ഇതന്നെയാണ് നമ്മളുടെ സമൂഹത്തിൽ സ്ത്രീകളെ സബോർഡിനേറ്റഡ് ആയിട്ടും ഒക്കെ കാണുന്നതിലുള്ള ഒരു സാഹചര്യം എന്നുള്ളതാണ് അതിൻ്റെ ജനറലായിട്ട് പബ്ലിക്കലി ഉള്ള ഡിസ്കോഴ്സ് വരുന്നത് സോ വെൻ വി ഡിസ്കസ് ദിസ് ജെൻഡർ വി ക്യാൻ സി ലേറ്റർ ഓൺ അവർ ഡേസ് ആസ് വി ഹാവ് ഓൾറെഡി ഹേർഡ് ഫ്രം ദ ഓർഗനൈസേഴ്സ് നോട്ട് ഹിയർ വി ഹാവ് ദിസ് പ്രോഗ്രാം ഹിയർ in the context of uh, pride march lgbt iq a plus um, categories um, uh, pride march we used to call them as sexuality minorities so we do not want, want to call them even as minorities nowadays 
we are um, politically obliged, politically motivated to make it like so common and so that it is uh, celebrated nowadays. So this discussion came in the Western countries during the, as uh, um, he has already told, 1969, 1970, like that, there was a movement in the United States which started talking about the rights of different people who have different sexualities according to their preference and genders. So there are many different terms which we have to be very, very clear when we discuss this. Sex, sexuality, gender are the main three things actually to talk about. So within these uh, ideas, I mean concepts, uh, we have uh, seen that there are different categories we have uh, made uh, in the society nowadays it's familiar. Uh, what is that lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, intersex, cure, asexual, plus, 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 plus. There are many genders. That's why we have given the title like genders. It's not just ma male, male gen uh, masculine gender or feminine gender. There are various, varied um, identities, to say so. So these all identities could be like, why we are giving nowadays, earlier it was only LGBT movement. Then it became LGBTIQ, uh, uh, and uh, then it became A plus A plus like that. Nowadays we are the I, most um, updated term is like that it, nowadays. So we will we are not going into details of these things. Actually, uh, I don't know whether you were expecting more these uh, general things or the theoretical philosophical aspect. But I, as I have heard from your teachers, I think uh, we go on with the philosophical treatment with the term called gender and uh, some philosophies, uh, philosophers uh, we will refer. Okay, uh, so to understand the concept of gender, the preliminary task is to differentiate between sex and gender. We have heard this uh, statement, sex is biological, gender is social socially constructed. So sex is what we call as we identify with our biological body and gender is something which is ascribed as we have already um, mentioned here, ascribed femininities and masculinities or um, whatever. Mainly it is only femininity and masculinity being ascribed in our heterosexual society. So this is what uh, we will talk about it later also, this heterosexual matrix. Uh, so, gender roles are socially constructed. So, first feminist theorization first went on like this. We have to see this differentiation to understand uh, the issue, understand the issue of discrimination, issue of subordination of women. It was mainly done for the um, for addressing the issue of subordinated status of women. Sikhanda prashnat te adrati yandha niya hai mr. Lagyam chidha tila ka. Adhini shesham aana matte sexuality aspects akka discussion liki vayar na ta. So first ila how the discussion was going on that is very clear for you I guess now it's like differentiating sex as biological and gender as social. So it is very quite easy actually to see in our mainstream society when what is gender? gender mainstreaming from through the cultural mainstreaming we can see this issue very clearly when we say cooking suddenly we connect it with the woman because it's a femininity thing feminine thing if you say driving nowadays it has changed a lot kore maatangal namma samuhathilekku vannu engil polum ippozhudu undu illa nu parayan kayilla alle climbing tree suddenly it's a masculine thing driving or something or uh, maybe ruling, supervising, um, these kinds of things. Or obeying, serving, cleaning, washing, it's all goes to clear on of the legs, women. So we can make very clear cut distinction in our roles in our society, in our personal lives as well as social life. We can very clearly see this. This is what is gender or the pre preliminary uh, definition by the feminist theorization. 
So, uh, not only the role formations, not only the role formations, but also about our temperament, about the temperament of human beings, mindset, mind in the particular like which namla adu kya jarika. If you say courage, it's always for men. If you say cowardice or fear, it's always for women. So we have this kind of clear cut um, distinction between what a woman should be, what a man should be, or what a masculine person would be and a feminine person would be. Uh, this kind of a clear cut thing from somewhere, we do not know. It's a culturally inscribed thing. Uh, we are not taught like this, but all people are um, very much into this kind of um, uh, understanding that it is this femininity, feminine thing, masculine thing, like that. So this distinction was made very clearly by the feminist theorization to make it very visible that gender is something which is socially constructed. It is not basically the thing that in every feminist philosophers and I will explain it also a little more and, um, again uh, when we discuss the feminist philosophers' works. So when we look into the philosophy of, uh, of some philo women thinkers, uh, we have to see the philosophy of gender emerging from those people, which was not at all um, counted those days. It was very much neglected uh, those days. But nowadays, in recent decades, we are a little bit familiar with these philosophers, demon philosophers who were doing gender, who were doing the philosophy of gender, I would say. So, first we have to mention, of course, when we look at the second wave feminism that historical period like uh, mid 20th century, 1950s, 1949, she published the book, The Second Sex. We are familiar with that. So Simone de Beauvoir, we can say, as the notable person. Before that also, we have women from philosophy who have done um, uh, feminism. Mary Wilson, for example, during French Revolution, a century ago, actually, um, during that time, 18th century enlightenment, this uh, historical period, there were some women voices coming out to talk about the rights of women. They were physically only talking about the rights of women. Uh, so it was not a discussion about gender. That's why I'm not talking about it, but you can always connect with it. So Simon, let's go to Simone de Beauvoir. Simone de Beauvoir uh, published this book called The Second Book, The Second Sex. In 1949, in French, and then it was suddenly translated into English, and it became very famous. Um, women from the United States already there were feminists. You know, feminist movement was very active. So uh, women from United States came to. There is a, an interview online available. Actually, you can watch it also. Uh, that um, so you women women feminists uh, from United States coming to France, Paris. She was only in Paris, Simone de Beauvoir coming to Paris and asking her, uh, this, oh, so you happen to write this um, wonderful book called The Second Sex. Oh, how, what made you to make this um, title, like The Second Sex? So she was answering like, uh, nowadays there are uh, some discussions going on um, about uh, women who are claiming not man or uh, not man, a woman like that. So another uh, kind of uh, sexuality or another gender or something. So your people are calling them third gender. But still they are very much uh, invisible and discriminated people. They are called as third gender. So women are the second gender or second sex. That's what I think. That's what the answer she was giving. So always the men are the first uh, sex or gender to say so. Sex and gender were used interchangeably during that time so, uh, a little bit. But after this theorization, um, philosophizing actually to say so, by Sissimang de Boa, it became very, very clear how to differentiate sex and gender. Mm. Uh, so uh, for a very interesting um, 
uh, example that we can see in uh, her book uh, is also to talk about the uh, earlier slides we have seen this kind of uh, particular um, roles and otherwise particular temperaments or particularities which we call as femininity or masculinity. That is, how do we uh, decide the gender? Um, how do we uh, decide that the gender is socially constructed? In the Simong di boleh pahin nuri karya malah rasa orang. Rather, if we are paying, uh, if we identify sex as biological, gender as social, what we have to say, it is part of the femininity that a woman would become a mother. The woman would uh, have a uh, womb, and it is bodily thing, no, so that. Um, but you. Having to heard in our society, even if uh, a woman is a mother, um, she proved to be a woman, like that, like a sex, uh, um, imagine, all, almost all women do that. Uh, so, even if she is a mother and proved a woman to be so, that is in our society, that is the way they consider. So, still sometimes some women are uh, facing the question like, Woman at all, like that kind of question we will hear. There is three young people. Probably she is not wearing the way a woman should wear. Wearing the kind of dress a woman is. Maybe she cut the hair. Maybe she is wearing a jeans or a trousers. Or a, a maybe she is a, not um, obeying men. Uh, not not uh, living with a uh, godly man. Or uh, even, of, uh, even maybe not at all in any relationship with any man. So then people start uh, saying that, that, is that a woman at all like that? So then there is three women in our career. So then there are three women in our career. So then there is three women in our career. So then there is three women in our career. So then there is three women in our career. So then there is no symbol for femininity. So it, it is very clear that it is socially constructed. Thing. Gender. It is a socially constructed thing. So this social construction uh, is very clear. It is not just biological. It is exactly social. What we are ascribe as femininity. Hmm? So even during, to be very clear, even during this time, feminists, even including um, uh, the philosophizing of uh, Simone de Beauvoir, they are accepting this biological differentiation. But they are going into the social ascription, social cultural ascriptions uh, to be feminine and to be masculine as separately from this biological um, reality as which is called gender. So, uh, Simone de Beauvoir is actually treating this, we can say she was, a sex, uh, she was an existentialist philosopher, she was classmate to Sartre, uh, she is being actually uh, working around um, all, uh, analyzing all the philosophers, um, contemporary and previous uh, philosophers' works and trying to make a, a feminist analysis on top of this. So, philosophy uh, of existentialism, we can see earlier we have seen that um, this dictum by her, one is not born but becomes a woman. It's a famous statement by Simone de Beauvoir. That means a woman is actually not born. Through the uh, social ascriptions, she is becoming a woman. So this becoming uh, through the socially ascribed femininity um, um, uh, things, uh, femininity um, aspects, only that uh, Entity, a human entity is becoming a woman. So it is not actually, uh, the so-called woman concept is not actually um, just uh, biological. But it is actually uh, 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 social thing. Okay. So this becoming, you know, what one is becoming this. 
So we have, we can connect it and go on like that in existentialist discussion also there. I'm not going deep into that anyhow here because, you know, we have this uh, dictum like existence precedes us and um, kind of uh, famous uh, things, uh, famous statements which we can connect and how we do we really exist before something. We will come into that in our later um, slides um, to discuss the issue of um, you know the essence this is what we can see as the uh, essence we think it as the socially ascribed femininity or masculinity <coughs> aspects as essence in a way we, we can see adana nam essence ait kanakkakunnathu ennullo oru avastha namakilla ennu kandindi veru so uh, this issue of being and becoming uh, she is taking up and argues that there is nothing natural in gendering of human and details and this um, justifies um, the social construction of gender as well so she also very much uh, has she uh, opened up the discussion about gender so there are um, uh, many different uh, um, criticisms on uh, on uh, Simone de Beauvoir and the feminists during that time, which is a modern period, the modern feminists, were criticized for not um, taking the other aspects, as we have already seen in the uh, initial uh, initial uh, level talk. Dr. Lashmi was also talking about the term intersectionality. So we will come into that also later. Uh, so this issue in which um, we are not seeing the other socio-cultural elements when we define gender. It's also being initiated by Simone de Beauvoir, I would say. But postmodernist feminists have actually said that the, the modernist feminists uh, have not actually addressed this issue. Uh, though they have discussed gender and tried to, they, though, though they have tried, attempted to define gender as socially constructed they haven't gone into the other socio-cultural issues um, so this issue is called what is the issue of essentialism you know so the modern feminist modern theorization we when we discuss the issue of woman we are thinking that there is a essentialized category called woman who are having a particular um, specific common issue poduvaya or prashnam actually poduvaya prashnam undu nanna enna endha abhiprayam modern feminist uh, thinking illa poduvaya prashnam eppozhum undu but at the same time we have to also see that there are various other kinds of issues faced by women from various fields various backgrounds to say so like for upper class, lower class, this, yeah, this religion, that religion, caste, uh, ethnicity, race, etc. Here is where we are uh, going into the issue of intersectionality. That was discussed later by uh, the other feminists in the postmodern time, criticizing the uh, modern feminist theorization. Um, postmodern thinking would discuss these aspects of social cultural elements in which these issues are embedded in a way, in the twin, in a way. So, essentialism is a theoretical issue in feminist theorizing that prevailed in the modern analytical works. So, postmoderns would uh, question this essentialist position and uh, they are going towards the issue of identity, issue of fixing the identity. So what we can see in modern time is that we have had a habit of fixing the identity. We have had a habit of fixing the identity. Uh, fixed uh, the theorization of the theorization of the theorization of the theorization of the 
philosophy of course philosophy you know, it was very rigid system as we all know in philosophy in modern philosophizing we have had the fixing of this binaries dichotomies etc mind and body these are different types of male and female this uh, positional categories all came in this kind of um, era of modern era of identity fixing identity politics in this kind of philosophy is what made the background for our interest in making a particular decision and fixing something so this is what is being questioned by the postmodern thinking uh, so the issue of identity that we will discuss that again in detail so we have already uh, seen that when we discuss something it actually needed to have a kind of essentialist perspective initially to do something alle adayid namukku po when we talk about the socio political um, movement uh, like that we have to be clear about our identity at one at for the first time alle namukku aadyam vyakta irikkana nammal endinu vendiyana parayunnathu appo adinde daya ideology ekka prashna aanu so so then we embrace one or other kind of identity and ideology etc appo philosophizing inde റീസെൻറ്റ് ട്രെൻഡ് അനുസരിച്ചിട്ട് പോസ്റ്റ് മോഡേണിറ്റിയിൽ ഇതിനെയൊക്കെ പൊളിക്കുക എന്നാണ് നമ്മൾ ചെയ്യുന്നത് അതാണ് ജൂഡിൻ പട്ടറിക്കൊക്കെ വരും ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ സബ്വേർഷൻ തകിടം മറിക്കുക ആണ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ ഈ ഐഡൻറ്റിറ്റിയെ ഐഡൻറ്റിറ്റി പൊളിറ്റിക്സിനെ തകിടം മറിക്കലാണ് പോസ്റ്റ് മോഡേൺ ആദ്യം ചെയ്യുന്നത് അവിടെയാണ് ഈ ജെൻഡേഴ്സ് സോ ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് വൺ ഓർ ടു ഓർ ത്രീ ഓർ മേ ഇറ്റ്സ് മെനി എവറിബഡി ഹാസ് വൺ പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ വൺ ഓർ അതർ പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ഇൻട്ര ഇൻഡിവിജ്വൽ ഐഡൻറ്റിറ്റി എന്നുള്ള കാര്യത്തിലാണ് അപ്പോൾ ഐഡൻറ്റിറ്റി അങ്ങനെ ഫിക്സ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ ദിസ് ഐഡൻറ്റിറ്റി ഓൾസോ ഇസ് നോട്ട് വെരി ഫിക്സ് ഇറ്റ് കാൻ ചേഞ്ച് അറ്റ് എനി പോയിൻ്റ് ഓഫ് ടൈം എന്നാണ് അങ്ങനെയുള്ള ഒരു ജനറലായിട്ടുള്ള ഇത് ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞു തന്നോട്ട് അങ്ങനെയുള്ള ഒരു ചിന്താഗതിയാണ് അതായത് ഇപ്പോൾ നമ്മളിപ്പോൾ ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഇഫ് വി ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ഇൻ ടേംസ് ഓഫ് ദ സെക്ഷുവാലിറ്റീസ് വൺ സംബഡി ഈസ് എ ഗേ വൺ അത് അതർ ടൈം ഇറ്റ് കാൻ ബി ആഫ്റ്റർ സം ടൈം ലേറ്റർ ഓർ സം ടൈം ഏർലിയർ ഇറ്റ് മേ ബി might have been sometimes heterosexual or later it can be heterosexual and later it can be homosexual according to the interest okay so it can it's not that fixed by birth or not even by the social conditions it's according to the interests of individuals it can be fixed by solely this particular individual who are it may be adana appo let's see into this um, when we see go into postmodern the particular very important person most important person is judith butler we have to refer judith butler so judith butler um, as we all know an american philosopher um, she was a philosophize uh, philosopher of gender she is a philosopher she is still alive she is a philosopher of uh, gender um, so her book gender trouble feminism and the subversion of identity adanna nan ipo nartha parna feminism and the subversion of identity in the lapsago and the session bodies that matter the discursive limits of uh, on the discursive limits of sex ee rendu book ana valare famous aite ee prashnangale address cheyanayittu vannada appo adil cheyyunnad actually ee tagida murkilana adu vare modernity de kaalagatta the feminist movement ilum എല്ലാ മൂമെൻറ്റിലും ഈ തിയറി അപ്ലൈ ചെയ്യാൻ കഴിയും എന്നുള്ളതാണ് അതായത് ഒരിക്കൽ നമ്മളൊരു സാമൂഹ്യ പ്രസ്ഥാനത്തിൽ ചേർന്ന് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ എല്ലാ കാലത്തും നമ്മൾ ആ സാമൂഹ്യ പ്രസ്ഥാനത്തിൻ്റെ റെലവൻസ് ചിലപ്പോൾ ഉണ്ടാവില്ല എന്നൊക്കെ ഉള്ള ചർച്ച ഉണ്ടല്ലോ അതാണ് ആ സാമൂഹ്യ പ്രസ്ഥാനത്തിൽ ആ സാമൂഹ്യ പ്രശ്നം പരിഹരിക്കപ്പെട്ട് കഴിഞ്ഞാലും പിന്നെ ആ പ്രസ്ഥാനം അതേ രീതിയിൽ പ്രവർത്തിക്കേണ്ട ആവശ്യമില്ല എന്നൊക്കെ നമ്മൾ ചർച്ച പറയുന്നത് ഇന്ത്യയൊക്കെ ഇത്തരം ചിന്താഗതിയുടെ അടിസ്ഥാനത്തിലാണ് അത് നമുക്ക് സമൂഹത്തിലൊന്നും അത്ര ഏശിയിട്ടില്ല എനി ഹോ അത് ഏഷ്യണ്ടെന്ന് ഒരു കാലഘട്ടം വരുന്നേ ഉള്ളൂ അപ്പോൾ വെസ്റ്റേൺ കൺട്രീസിൽ പോസ്റ്റ് മോഡേൺ കാലഘട്ടം എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ അവിടെ തന്നെ ഫുള്ളി എക്സ് ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് ഇൻ പ്രാക്ടീസ് നോട്ട് ഓൺലി ഫ്യൂ പീപ്പിൾ മേ ബി ഇൻ സം പീപ്പിൾ ഇൻ അക്കാഡമിക്സ് ഓർ മേ ബി സം പീപ്പിൾ ഹു ആർ ഡൂയിങ് സം ഇൻ ഡെപ്ത് അനാലിസിസ് ആൻഡ് അപ്ഡേഷൻ ഓഫ് ജിസ്റ്റമോളജിക്കൽ എൻ്റർപ്രൈസ് എക്സെട്ര സോ ബട്ട്ലർ കോൾ ഫോർ ദ സബ്വേർഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ ജെൻഡർ ഐഡൻറ്റിറ്റി ആൻഡ് this initiated this approach of being queer what is queer this is another term that we are having uh, in the lgbtiq also we have seen 
uh, when we say gay, lesbian, transgender, um, etc., transsexual, intersex, etc., then still more different issues could be, or it, it's not even an issue. Identities or uh, entities could be the identity in our school, or another entities or an philosophical work along the Nagatan. Barnabat and the Barnum and the Pangantan Stab can another one. I entities in a don't a plus note plus plus in the Abil cure is this open realm actually. We can say always questioning the particular existing mode of uh, this heterosexual matrix where we are defining sex, sexuality and gender. So this um, tripartite uh, matrix, this is what um, the Butler would call the existence of heterosexual matrix. So what we do in our society, in our social cultural system is to make people fix into this matrix, make, make people appropriate into this matrix through the social cultural ascriptions, treatment. So, traditional categories of gender, sex, sexuality, in the line of picture, would you uh, mix a title or analysis? So, gender, generally, when we do research, etc., we can take it as an, um, when we say about it as a uh, tool, theoretical tool, uh, to, to make uh, this analysis of inequalities existing in our society and also in people's personal lives, um, we have to understand this gender in this way. The trouble, what is this gender trouble? This is the trouble, we have already talked about it. That means, you know, she is actually targeting feminists in a way, targeting feminism. Theorization. She is a philosopher, she is talking like a philosopher only. She is also like Simone de Uwa. Simone de Uwa also was in the, um, the modern 1950s. So she was also not claiming herself as feminist. She was basically not uh, into the feminist movement, etc. She was basically in philosophy, philosophy departments. Um, but she has understood very well this issue of uh, subordination of women in the society. So she wrote this. Um, book, which became very much a feminist text. Uh, people used to uh, piece that as a feminist Bible, etc. during that time in the Europe and in the Western cultures. So, uh, like that, Ju Judith Butler also uh, doesn't fit into the category called a feminist as such, because she has this criticism, who claim to be uh, into this identity of being feminist. Uh, so she, Butler has a problem with identity fixing. So she doesn't want to fix it in that way. She is criticizing feminist, feminist theorization in the what happened in the modern era, saying that when they try to, that means the feminist, modern feminists try to uh, define feminism, the gender, they go into this kind of trouble because, uh, according to Butler in um, we will find this feminist debates over the meanings of gender uh, lead us to a certain sense of trouble. The trouble sometimes euphemize some fundamentally alleged mystery of all things as feminine. Because you know, when we try to define uh, gender in that point of time, modern time, number femininity ne accepting in masculinity ne. The femininity and masculinity and the temperamentum roles so can allow the parana there. Adangane undanum exist in another than a very much ontological. That's what we are coming into an ontology of gender. It's impossible to have an ontology of gender now. And then in ontology, we know the curriculum, then a philosophy will work a can and gila familiar analog, ontology epistemology. Whether is there something existing that exists there, whether it exists or not. So according to uh, Butler, this answer for this question, whether it exists, no. There is nothing called gender exists, none of the only or not viewpoint. Upon Namka actually, the Butlerian viewpoint, the people who are in the world, we have to be proud of the people who are in the world. Because we have to be proud of the people who are in the world. 
നമ്മൾ ആലോചിച്ചാൽ നമ്മുടെ സമൂഹത്തിൻ്റെ കാലഘട്ടത്തിൽ ഞാൻ ആവശ്യമാണ് അത് പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് സ്ഥാപിക്കേണ്ട അവസ്ഥ ഉണ്ട് അതിന് ശേഷമേ നമുക്ക് അതിൽ നിന്ന് ട്രാൻസെൻഡ് ചെയ്ത് പോകാൻ പറ്റുള്ളൂ ആസ് ഫിലോസഫിക്കൽ ടേം നമുക്ക് ഒരു ഗ്രൗണ്ട് ഇല്ലാതെ ഏത് ഗ്രൗണ്ട് എന്നാൽ നമ്മൾ ട്രാൻസെൻഡ് ചെയ്യുന്ന എന്നുള്ള പ്രശ്നം ഉണ്ടല്ലോ ആ ട്രാൻസെൻഡ് ചെയ്യാൻ അതിന് അതീതമായി പോവുക ഒരു വ്യക്തിത്വം നമ്മൾ സ്ഥാപിച്ച് അതിൽ നിന്ന് അതീതമായി പോകുന്നതിന് സ്ഥാപിക്കാൻ എന്തെങ്കിലും അവിടെ സ്ഥാപിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ടാവാനുള്ള പ്രശ്നം ഉണ്ടല്ലോ അതാണ് ആ പ്രശ്നം അപ്പൊ ബഡ്ലറിന് ആർഗ്യൂ ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിലും നമുക്കതിപ്പോൾ പ്രാക്ടിക്കൽ ഒന്നും ആവുന്ന കാലഘട്ടം ഒന്നും അല്ല ആയിട്ടില്ല ഈവൺ ഫസ്റ്റ് കൺട്രീസ് പോലും എന്നാണ് എനിക്ക് തോന്നിയിട്ടുള്ളത് അത് ബട്ട് ഇൻ അവർ തോട്ട് സിസ്റ്റം ഇൻ അവർ തിങ്കിങ് ലെവൽ വി ക്യാൻ ഡു അറ്റ് ഗോ ടു എനി ലെവൽ ഗോ ടു എനി ലെവൽ ദാറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ് ദിസ് ലെവൽ ആസ് വാട്ട് ബെറ്റർ വുഡ് സെ സോ ദ ക്രിറ്റിക് ദിസ് വാസ് എ ക്രിറ്റിക് ഓഫ് ഐഡൻറ്റിറ്റി പൊളിറ്റിക്സ് വിച്ച് വാസ് ഫൗണ്ടഡ് ബൈ മോഡേൺ ഫെമിനിസം എസ് എ ഫൗണ്ടേഷണൽ പോയിന്റ് സോ ദിസ് ഫൗണ്ടേഷണൽ പോയിന്റ് ഷി ഡസൻ Dine utterly um, not denying, uh, she is not denying, but she identifies it as actually, of course, it was that beginning foundational point where we fix the identity. Then we cannot really uh, carry it all the time. That's it. We do not need to carry it all the time also. Clear? So, we have one thing to say. But in our life, ജെൻഡർ ഐഡൻറ്റിറ്റി ഒന്നും വേണ്ട ഏത് ഐഡൻറ്റിറ്റിയോ ആവട്ടെ നമ്മളത് എപ്പോഴും ജീവിതത്തിൽ ഒരു കാര്യം ഉറപ്പിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ മനുഷ്യ ബന്ധങ്ങളാവട്ടെ മനുഷ്യ വികാരങ്ങളാവട്ടെ മനുഷ്യ മരട് ചെയ്യുന്ന ജോലിയാവട്ടെ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ നമ്മുടെ താല്പര്യങ്ങളാവട്ടെ ഒക്കെ ഫിക്സ് ചെയ്യണമല്ലോ ദൻ വി ആർ എൻട്രാപ്ഡ് ഇൻ ടു ഇറ്റ് അതാണ് പ്രോബ്ലം പറയുന്നത് സോ ഇൻ ജെൻഡർ ഐഡൻറ്റിറ്റി ഓൾസോ ദർ ഈസ് ദിസ് പ്രോബ്ലം വി ആർ എൻട്രാപ്ഡ് ഇൻ ടു ഇറ്റ് ഈ ട്രാപ്പിനകത്താണ് പിന്നെ നമ്മൾ മൂവിയുള്ളൂ we do not go out here and there so a possibility of this uh, issue this is the trouble this is the trouble we are going from one trouble to another trouble of course to go out of the trouble adana varayunnathu nammle or issue nammal anda edha nariyatha trouble simple aayittu parneyale nammle endu cheyana edha cheyana nariyatha trouble ella manushirkkum palarnu varunnunda avana sanaanallo അതിന് നമ്മൾ എന്തെങ്കിലും ആ ഞാൻ ഫിലോസഫി ആയിരിക്കും ഞാൻ ഫിലോസഫറാണ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഞാനൊരു ഫെമിനിസ്റ്റാണ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഞാനൊരു കമ്മ്യൂണിസ്റ്റാണ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഞാനൊരു ഇതാണ് അതാണ് എന്തെങ്കിലും ഒന്ന് നമുക്ക് വേണം അത് നമ്മൾ അതാണ് ഫിക്സ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് അത് ഫിക്സ് ചെയ്ത് നമ്മൾ അതിൻ്റെ അടിമകളായി മാറരുത് എന്നുള്ളതാണ് കാര്യം അതിൽ നിന്ന് അങ്ങോട്ടും പോകാനുള്ള ഐഡൻറ്റിറ്റിയുടെ പ്രോബ്ലം അതാണെന്നാണ് ഐഡൻറ്റിറ്റിയുടെ ഐഡിയോളജിയുടെ പ്രോബ്ലം അതാണെന്നാണ് ഈ പോസ്റ്റ് മോഡേൺ തിങ്കിങ്ങിൻ്റെ സോ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഓൾ ടു ബി ലെഫ്റ്റ് ലൈക്ക് uncertain or indefinite or in, undefinable or something like that in that kind of a but it's very difficult to reach that level level maybe um, it is that philosophical transcendence for formally maybe angathe idile vashe namukku nammude samuhathil jeevichu povan pattilla laugika adhiyo nammude indian philosophy da kaarathe parayane ee laugika jeevithathile nammude brahman kandirikkina maadhiyilla jeevitham allengil non attached alle patti pattuo nalla prashna undallo അപ്പം എനിക്ക് അതന്നെ നമ്മൾ ഔദ്യ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ എപ്പോഴും ഞാൻ എൻ്റെ ക്ലാസ്സിലൊക്കെ പറയുന്നത് നമുക്ക് ഇപ്പോഴും അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഈ മലയത്ത് പോകേണ്ടിയാലും ഇരിക്കേണ്ടിയാലും അല്ലെങ്കിൽ പറ്റില്ലല്ലോ അത് നമ്മൾ ലൗകിക ജീവിതത്തിൽ വീണ്ടും വീണ്ടും പെട്ടുപോകില്ലേ ആ നമ്മുടെ ചുറ്റുള്ളവർ അങ്ങനെയുള്ള ആൾക്കാരുണ്ടല്ലോ ഈ ഫിലോസഫി അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ചെയ്യുന്നവരല്ലോ ഈ പ്രോബ്ലമൊക്കെ ഇതിലൊക്കെ ഉണ്ട് ഇതിലൊക്കെ ഉണ്ട് എല്ലാ കാര്യത്തിലും ഉണ്ട് എന്നുള്ളതാണ് അപ്പം ഐ വാസ് ട്രൈങ് ടു ജസ്റ്റ് കമ്പയർ ഇന്ത്യൻ ആൻഡ് വെസ്റ്റേൺ ദീസ് തോട്ട് സിസ്റ്റംസ് വിച്ച് വാസ് എ വെരി ആൻഷ്യൻ സിസ്റ്റം ആൻഡ് ഓഫ് കോഴ്സ് ഇറ്റ്സ് എ ന്യൂ സിസ്റ്റം i had this kind of a thoughts in between sometimes when i discuss this so what butler will try to say is that there is the no ontology of gender it's impossible to um, conceive the existence of one particular gender because it's um, not definable it's no need to define adana varana and the vision endana appo it's quite a natural it's a, it is entering into a new natural probably we can say അതൊക്കെ സ്വാഭാവികമാണെന്ന് പറയുന്ന രീതിയിലാണ് പക്ഷെ എന്നാൽ ആ നാച്ചുറൽ എന്നുള്ള എൻ്റെ പഴയ മീനിങ്ങിലല്ല അർത്ഥം അപ്പോൾ ന്യൂ നാച്ചുറൽ ആണെന്ന് എടുത്തു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ അപ്പോൾ അതും പ്രശ്നമാണെന്നാണ് ബിൾഡറിൻ്റെ പോസ്റ്റ് ഈ തിയറി അനുസരിച്ച് പറയാൻ കഴിയുക കാരണം നമ്മളെവിടെ നിൽക്കുന്നില്ല എന്നുള്ളതാണ് അപ്പോൾ മനസ്സിലാക്കുന്നത് എവിടെ നിൽക്കുന്നില്ല ഗോയിങ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഓൾ ഫ്രം വൺ ടു അതർ ഓർ മേ ബി ഇവൺ ഇഫ് യു ആർ സ്റ്റാൻഡിങ
So, what is this ontology? Uh, this is the uh, ontology of gender. Maybe we can say it as a broader philosophizing of uh, sex, gender, sexual activity, and be, before, beyond this, heterosexual matter. The same connection we can see. So, why she is saying, this is the next point what we have to come into. Why she is saying that this ontology of gender is impossible or not needed? Because gender ontologies always operate within established socio-political context, socio-cultural political context, as normative intentions to fix the sex and gendered bodies as intelligible to the culturally um, accepted norms of heterosexual matters. This gender ontology is not anything. What we were having the argument earlier in the modern time, it was like a sex is biological, gender is um, a social construct. So what we are coming uh, in the postmodern phase uh, is into a point like uh, both sex and gender are socially constructed. Now, gender ontologies, the existence or uh, um, the being there or whatever of gender, something called gender, is not Social is, is social, if we say it is socially constructed, we have a presupposition that the sex biological body is really natural but this body is also a construct. Other language philosophy language philosophy language philosophy de, um, performativity theory subjectivity issues are discussed in the socio-cultural aspects social-cultural um, intersectionality aspects to be um, clear about it so when we have some particular gender um, or even sex particular uh, fem, uh, body thing which is not really uh, a construct. That is called Nirmiti. Samuhi Nirmiti, Alangi, Samwat Nirmiti. So, this is the continuation of the continuation of the existentialism. We point in the break in the criticizing of the It is not preceding. The sex is not there as such, preceding to be in, uh, installed into a gender. Ontology is not a foundation, but it installs itself into the socio-political and cultural discourse as a necessary ground. So, it is all only in this discourse existing. It is all existing only in the discourse. Nothing else. Uh, otherwise, there is no existence for it. Hmm? Example what she is giving um, that we can see also. Uh, gender can only be understood in the socio-cultural um, realms. So, uh, even sex. And then at the point. So we have our femininity concept. For example, you know, for Western countries live with Kenya, femininity, cultural concept, to number culturally femininity, cultural concept to different than all. Number of you did you teacher, a remedio, okay to one day, number of feminine, a la matrella, malia, acceptance, a moral, a la, and then the problem that. Lay. Other some, you saw you to go for now and not to number. Western countries will have to use it, and then they will have to use it. So, they will have to use it as well. But you know, this dressing, everything, you know, these various things what we are having, it's all culturally made up. So, this, and also there are different other things like that, socially, 
politically made up alle so some colors and some kind of statements these all are differently assigned into different kinds of discourses to say so so this more postmodern foucauldian discourse uh, is actually she's making use of also uh, later we can see also the really and reconstruction so these kinds of more postmodern methodologies or epistemologies she is trying to incorporate to discuss gender uh, so we can understand gender only on the basis of factors such as religion culture legal and social norms etc uh, it is through this we conceive our uh, concepts of masculinity and femininity so what is the um, conclusion what we can see sexed bodies cannot signify without gender we we were thinking in our modern theorization that sexed bodies are already there or a girl body or a boy body like that hmm? male body or female body in which these socially constructed enna nammal parnittulla this kind of um, gender things are being inscribed or uh, installed or ascribed like that so adalla butlerian concept the apparent existence of sex prior to discourse and cultural imposition is only an effect of the functioning she would say that it is only an effect of the functioning of gender but we are misunderstanding it as mm, a pre existence of sex there clear on with it i think it's clear i do in the example only parayma parshavin here according to butler both sex and gender are socially constructed that's what she is trying to pose see um what is that some color okay i will add in there to explain this she says the example this example will be uh, more uh, useful to the, um, understand the previous statement also you know when a girl, when a child is born the nurse or doctor will say it's a boy it's a girl like that so she is taking up the um, linguistic um, pro- problems problems of uh, language use uh, that the performativity of this act of utterance would make this creature a boy or girl and then okay this newborn creature newborn entity to say so will fix it as a boy or girl so from there it starts so this body was not knowing that whether it's a boy or girl or anything this body was just a body born um, so this body is being channelized into this or that sex even not gender sex even through this language play of language performativity that's theory of performativity that you would say uh, the announcement at that time of birth would make it it's clear right the use of language to inscription and reinscription as the rida would say mm. and uh, uh, also this kind of language will make the discourse then ah then oh she is a girl and then she should have this chain or what or something uh, it should be given um, this is the kind of dress uh, this is coming in our discussion people are discussing these things after a child is born alle adana alkar cheyunathu അപ്പോൾ അതിലൂടെ അത് അങ്ങനെയായി മാറുകയാണ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ദർ ഈസ് എ പ്ലേ ഓഫ് ലാംഗ്വേജ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് കോഴ്സ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ്സ് അനദർ ഡിസ്കഷൻ ഓൾസോ ദിസ് ലാംഗ്വേജ് ത്രൂ സം കൺസെപ്റ്റ് ഓൺലി ആക്ച്വലി ദർ ആർ സം അണ്ടർലൈൻ കൺസെപ്റ്റ് വിത്തിൻ അപ്പോൾ ഇത് എവിടെയാണ് ആദ്യം എന്നുള്ളതിനെ കുറിച്ചുള്ള ചർച്ച വീണ്ടും ഡീപ്പായി ചെയ്യേണ്ട കാര്യങ്ങൾ തന്നെയാണ് ബട്ട് ലാംഗ്വേജ് അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ദ ദൻ ദ പ്രിവെയിലിംഗ് ലാംഗ്വേജ് ഫിലോസഫിക്കൽ ഡിസ്കഷൻ um the reality is that language the ultimate reality which would make everything construct everything through language everything exists only through language i don't know so uh, and through that the discourse will develop in the society and it will be like this and that fix it so not only gender but also the sex of a body or the bodies that matter 
sex of a body as male or female is also being fixed or constructed through the discourse, through the use of language, through the performativity and parody. A performativity is also there and another term she would introduce is all mm, uh, to uh, uh, talk about it is parody. ൾക്കാരിമാണ്ടല്ലോ <laughs> കർണാടക യുണൈറ്റഡ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ്സ് ഫ്രാൻസ് ഇതൊക്കെ ഡിഫറെൻ്റ് ആയിരിക്കും ഓർ ഓൾസോ അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു യുവർ കാസ്റ്റ് റിലിജൻ ക്ലാസ് ഇതൊക്കെ ചേഞ്ച് ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കും ഈ തരത്തിലുള്ള മേക്കിംഗ് പീപ്പിൾ സെക്സ് ആൻഡ് ബോഡിഡ് ഐ മീൻ ജെൻഡേഡ് സെക്സ് ബോഡീസ് ആൻഡ് ജെൻഡേഡ് ബോഡീസ് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ വേ ഷി വുഡ് ട്രൈ ടു ആർഗ്യൂ ദാറ്റ് ബോത്ത് സെക്സ് ആൻഡ് ജെൻഡർ ആർ കൺസ്ട്രക്ട് so that there is no problem no uh, issue of being a man or woman or a gay or lesbian or transgender transsexual or asexual or intersex or whatever this is all uh, quite uh, there that's all why should you make it so um, different or so uh, issue oriented thing no need that so to make it a so the new norm you know so how to normalize was our enterprise in all cultural religion uh, religious uh, practices is to normalize people into the heterosexual matrix within this tripartite sex sexuality uh, gender uh, so that would be uh, theorized by judith butler in this way so the parodic repetition of gender exposes it as an subject then the issue of subjectivity also we can connect here uh, the false distinction between sex as biological and gender as social which was done in the modern time modern feminist theorization introduces a split into the supposedly unified subjective feminism that means woman feminist woman or a um, butch woman or a non feminist like that etc mm. so if you are feminist it's like that no i am 10 15 years ago in feminist movement like we were a little bit now it's not strong it's not theorization so what are we doing here? this is a very good thing 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 because the sari was very much a feminine thing ഇപ്പം നമുക്ക് ഫാഷൻ ആണോ നമ്മുടെ എസ്തറ്റിക് ആണോ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റ് ആണോ എന്നൊക്കെ പറഞ്ഞു വി ഹാവ് ഓൺ ട്രാൻസെൻഡ് ദോസ് തിങ്സ് ഓഫ് ഐഡൻറ്റിറ്റി ഇഷ്യൂസ് ദാറ്റ് വി ക്യാൻ ഡു ഓൺലി ത്രൂ ഗോയിങ് ദിസ് ഓഫ് കോഴ്സ് ഐ വുഡ് സേ പേഴ്സണലി ഐ ടെൽ യു ഓൾസോ പൊളിറ്റിക്കലി ഐ ടെൽ യു വി ഹാവ് ടു ഗോ ത്രൂ മെനി മെനി സ്റ്റെപ്സ് ഓഫ് ഫിക്സിങ് അസ് ദിസ് വേ ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് വേ ആൻഡ് ദൻ ഓൺലി വി ക്യാൻ ഗോ ബിയോണ്ട് അത് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ നമുക്ക് അതിനെ കുറിച്ച് ക്ലാരിറ്റി ഉണ്ടാവില്ല നമുക്ക് സമൂഹത്തിന് ക്ലാരിറ്റി കൊടുക്കാൻ കഴിയില്ല നമുക്ക് ഉദ്ദേശിക്കുന്ന ആക്സെപ്റ്റൻസ് ഒന്നും കിട്ടുകയും ചെയ്യില്ല അപ്പോൾ ആക്സെപ്റ്റൻസ് ഇസ് ഓഫ് മെനി ഇയേഴ്സ് ഹാർഡ് വർക്ക് പൊളിറ്റിക്കലി ഇഫ് ദർ ഇസ് എനിത്തിങ് ദാറ്റ് വി ഹാവ് ടു ഡു സോ ഷുഡ് ബി പൊളിറ്റിക്കലി ആൻഡ് ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് സംതിങ് സോ ഹാർഡ് വർക്ക് ഇസ് കോൺ സോ ദാറ്റ്സ് വൈ വി വിൽ കമ്മിങ് ടു ദാറ്റ് ഓൾസോ എ കോൺഷ്യസ് ഡൂയിങ് ഓഫ് യു നോ വിത്ത് അവർ സബ്ജെക്റ്റിവിറ്റീസ് വി ഗെറ്റ് ഇൻ ടു സം കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് സബ്ജെക്റ്റിവിറ്റി ആൻഡ് ദെൻ go beyond this subjectivity or embrace another subjectivity not at all embrace any subjectivity at all uh, this way we can go so um, gender is always a doing so we can stop doing also we can restart doing also and we can do it in this way or that way like that we can move on uh, through uh, though not uh, doing by subject who might be uh, set to pre exist the belief avadeana valare subtle aayittulla understanding avashyamde deep aayittulla understanding avashyamde idil oro karyathilum namukku theoretically edumbo ee subjectivity ee parna pole naan ippa parni sentence pole enki pekkal pagunolikkendi varum kanam thachcha naan idu parayumbo 
we can uh, get into this subjectivity or withdraw the parimbo. There is a preconception that I exist before this acting gender. If I acted like a uh, man for some time, I mean, in, getting into the masculine uh, trance in my styles or doing uh, or something. And other um, consciously and unconsciously, then we have a older hand. I have a work, some side, a lingy, the ship, and the temperament developed. Oh, he's three kim male ego on the cream. Okay, a way my name, a lingy push my name, a feminine on the cream. In a color, the little parim, but social discourse and Kuchilla number would have some side. The social discourse is problematic. Are there then a conscious acting gender? Subverting in the Krishna, when we try to subvert it, we are not we suspected to think that we pre exist as a subject. We are not into that kind of subject position at all, in a way to say so. So, this pre existence uh, of the deed, simply by I'm going to act a simple Anglovan mother and mother with an Indian eye, theorization for a serious sight, in depth sight for another. A father Manslaki to end Anglovan, Melodana. A father Manslaki and some of Hamangatari, I will lake him Maran, Yamaranchi, Namala Mm. This slide we have finished uh, culture and uh, this gender theory. So, oh, the faculty of Anna performativity and parity. So, identity politics. We will conclude with that again. Uh, this identity politics, of course, we have understood. I think it's quite a bit clear. In the past decades, we have um, in our theorization in academia, especially in our epistemological enterprise, we are trying to, in humanities, we are trying to go through the path of postmodernity, postmodernist theorization. So here, uh, we have revisited the term called gender, uh, its meanings, usage, and all. That's what we have done now. We have seen that also through Judith Butler. The identity categories often presumed foundational in, in feminist politics that is deemed necessary to mobilize feminism as an identity politics. Feminism sexuality, identities, politics are for the foundational acts, for the political acts, we need a foundational aspect there. We have to have that. Then we can transcend that. Another number of feminist movement in feminist movement feminist movement in the 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 identity politics is in the identity politics identity is We identity So identity categories often presumes foundational in the feminist politics. Feminist politics in a particular sexuality politics. Um, gender politics, that uh, it is deemed uh, necessary to mobilize. Uh, clear on, mobilization is social activism, movements in the world. It is not a good thing. But this limits and constrains the possibilities of agents to be foreclosed by the positions taken by the identity categories as foundational and fixed. 
ക്ലിയർ അന്തരീക്ഷം ഇപ്പൊ പറഞ്ഞ കാര്യം തന്നെ അതായത് നമ്മള് മൊബിലൈസേഷന് വേണ്ടി നമ്മൾ എടുത്ത ഈ സബ്ജക്ട് പൊസിഷൻ ഫിക്സഡ് ആയിട്ട് അവിടെ നിൽക്കുന്ന ഒരു അവസ്ഥയുടെ ആവശ്യം വരുന്നില്ല കാരണം അത് നമ്മളെ തന്നെ അതിൽ ജയിലിലാക്കും എന്നുള്ളൊരു പ്രശ്നം വരാം സോ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ മേക്ക് അസ് യുനോ ഈ ഫൗണ്ടേഷണൽ ആൻഡ് ഫിക്സഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള കാര്യങ്ങൾ നമ്മളതിൽ ഒക്കെ കൺസ്ട്രെയിൻസും പോസിബിലിറ്റീസ് എന്നുള്ള ഒരു ഫോർ ക്ലൂഷറും നട നടത്തുന്ന ഒരു പ്രശ്നം അതിലുണ്ട് എന്നാണ് ബിഡ്ലർ പറയുന്നത് ദിസ് മെത്തേഡ് അഡ്രസ്സിങ് ദ ജെൻഡർ ട്രിബിൾ ദിസ് ഇസ് എ ജെൻഡർ ട്രിബിൾ ആക്ച്വലി ഓഫ് അഡ്രസ്സിങ് ദിസ് മൈ ജെൻഡർ ട്രിബിൾ ഇനിഷ്യേറ്റ് ദി ഡിസ്കഷൻ ഓഫ് എക്സിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഓഫ് വേരിയസ് ജെൻഡേഴ്സ് അതാണ് എക്സിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഇൻ ദ സെൻസ് പോസിബിലിറ്റീസ് എക്സിസ്റ്റൻസ് എന്നുള്ള വാക്കും കൂടി ആക്ച്വലി കറക്റ്റ് ആയിട്ട് നമുക്ക് പറയേണ്ട കാര്യമില്ല പോസിബിലിറ്റീസ് ഓഫ് പോസിബിലിറ്റീസ് ഓഫ് ഹാവിങ് ഡൂയിങ് ഓർ വട്ട് എവർ ഇൻ ടേംസ് ഓഫ് മെയിൻ ജെൻഡേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് പ്രൊഡ്യൂസേഴ്സ് ഐ വുഡ് സേ ദാറ്റ് ന്യൂ ഫോം ഓഫ് സോഷ്യൽ തിയറി ഇഫ് ഈ ടോക്ക് ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ആക്ച്വലി പ്രൊഡ്യൂസിങ് അവർ ന്യൂ ഫോം ഓഫ് ഫിലോസഫി ഓഫ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ ഫിലോസഫി ഓഫ് ജെൻഡർ വട്ട് വി കുഡ് really understand at this point of time maybe later there may be new theories and other discussions and arguments uh, so what in general ivada poduvaya oru vikshanathinte karyangalokke vendadayum charchikku varanam ennu ippa adiyam parnadondu njan adu aagrahikkunna karyam thanneyana enikkum adu thanneyana pakshe nammal theory ide korungu philosophy ide karyam kudi kudi tactile manasilaakki kondu cheedan nammal academics nikkana aalkarayidondu i guess we can really do better uh, so the mainstream concepts of sexualities and sex and gender that to break them we have to be very clear about these theories i would say and uh, the change in the society to form uh, uh, is a necessary thing there are many changes still to be made in this society so we have to make use of our theoretical understand philosophical understanding to do with that to do with our um, activities to social activities social movements etc uh, so this is a conscious breaking you know uh, of gendered power structures which is mandatory step and uh, this is necessary to attain um, into a, an equal society uh, uh, into a society where there is no inequalities in terms of gender class class religion ethnicity race region etc so this issue of intersectionality is also to be very much addressed according to the uh, theories uh, of butler and also in the postmodern treatment uh, this is very uh, important um, so such an intersectional analysis i would say uh, would lead us probably in an equal society a society where there is no issues of discrimination on anything on so such a social transformation let us see maybe let's hope there would be that and uh, so this kind of programs uh, would also sensitize people like what is happening nowadays in the campus like a pride march mm. Uh, last week, uh, one like decade actually i mean 10 years time it is there in kerala uh, i have noticed that in trishu basically it is a there uh, it started in 2010 and there are many uh, different organizations to talk about um, general things there are many different organizations i know maybe you also know people who work with this intervention man trishu and also nakulam i guess to work with um uh various gen- uh, varied genders um people from varied genders who are organizing for the rights and um, for the change in a society so let's hope our society will change in a favorable way thank you